uh, we need to start with the Battle of Culloden, uh, 1746. There was a little Highland mini chief's house here um, in Gaelic called Tyan Agish, which means House of Agus. When a Glasgow shipping company called the Gordon Oswalds uh, by this estate, which was in those days about 20,000 acres, I think. And um, uh, they built this Victorian facade onto the little 18th century house. And I bought it in 1976 as a semi-ruin. If anybody had given me any idea what it was going to cost to restore it, I would never have touched it with a barge. Mm, uh, uh, we established a field study centre here, Scotland's first field study centre. We do general wildlife study programmes, we do wildflowers and gardens, we do uh, a fungus program, we do um, uh, nature conservation and land use programs, we do nature photography, wildlife art courses, landscape painting and wildlife painting, um, uh, um, uh, we do high level hikes, uh, walking and wildlife, so a huge range of different one week residential programs. Um, and there are now um, uh, two or three other field study centres in Scotland, but none of them is based on a family home. And because this is a private estate, we've been able to um, develop the gardens for wildlife, we've been able to build hides for wildlife, so you can see red squirrels and pine martins and beavers and uh, deer and various different species of bird. An enormous part of the appeal is the fact that it is a family home, and we welcome people into our home. It's run by me and my wife, and she has designed and laid out all the gardens. We do garden tours for local groups all the time. Uh, so she does that, but also she runs the catering. Uh, she is a Cordon Bleu, Bleu cook herself. And we have an early dinner each night because often there is an evening programme there'll be a lecture or there'll be a local band playing music or there'll be a high visit to try and see wildlife. Uh, a quarter of a mile away at the top of the hill um, in a lovely little hollow uh, there is an eight acre lock. Years ago I built a log cabin on the lock uh, as a writing retreat and so I go up there and I light the fire and shut myself away it's always very stimulating because something happens, an osprey comes through or an octopus pops up or something or other. Uh, and those aren't interruptions, those are inspiration. Um, a burst of sun uh, and then call the dogs to heel and take off up the hill. It is such a wonderful viewpoint, you can see right up the valley and then right down the valley. I think I've drawn the conclusion that uh, it, it's an escape. 